seeds. It's what I call an on-demand vegetable. So you can basically just come down to the veg garden whenever you need them. Poor old lonely Lucy. Won't be lonely anymore. Anyway, that's the time for a drink. Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. You're about to watch us go into the vegetable garden and clear our beds for the gardening season ahead. But before you do, I just wanted to let you know we've got a fantastic giveaway this week where we're giving away a battery operated lawnmower from Greenworks. So stay tuned because the giveaway details are coming up later in the vlog. Daphs and hyacinths are now coming out, finally starting to open. We're open for business. Got the Felcos, gonna need some gloves. There's nothing glamorous about today's jobs. It's all about cleaning, cleaning, cleaning and some more cleaning. This is what happens when you're not paying attention oh. and you use your Felcos and it takes up the top of your thumb. Yeah, Thank goodness careful. for sturdy gloves. This is my trusty weeding tool. It was from a vintage kind of antique market last year, last summer. Very, very handy to get your gardening tools from kind of places like that, markets like that, because they're plastic free a lot of the time, they're the old wood and they're really, really good. Off to the vegetable garden. Just seen him. He's there. He is. He's on his way to inspect the compost heap. So the beds are done. It's clear. Fantastic. We've just got uh, some carrots, which Bars is going to pull now, and we've left some healthy leeks because they're still looking good and we've left some kale just behind me because that's also looking really healthy so we'll leave those in but everything else is out i've got to say i think growing carrots one of my favorite vegetables to grow purely because they're just so resilient they just last through the wind so you can keep coming out and pulling them and <laughs> the size of that guy they're just so fantastic because it's what i call an on-demand vegetable so you can basically just come down to the veg garden whenever you need them pull them out and they're ready to go and any waste carrots i'm just putting in a separate bucket and we'll just take them probably as far away from the veg garden as possible so that the rabbits can feast on them and not be tempted and try and break into our vegetable garden. Our farmer has just arrived with more sheep and lambs for the field opposite. And as you know, we've had the one sheep left. I don't know why she got left by herself, but he obviously had a reason for putting her in there by herself first. And we've been calling her Lonely Lucy because she's been all by herself and she's been desperate for some company. So you can see she's very excited. She's finally gonna get her herd. So they've just gone up to the top of the hill and they're releasing them around here somewhere. Eventually they'll kind of just start to walk down once they've settled in a bit. It's gonna be really lovely having them. We always enjoy having them on the field um, next to us because they are just such a huge source of entertainment with the lambs. Poor old lonely Lucy won't be lonely anymore. It's been a, a long day, absolutely knackered. Yeah. How long did you think that took? About 10 minutes? Because <laughs> that's what it's going to look like on the YouTube video. I was going to say for you guys, that was very quick and easy. <laughs> for us, it was an entire day. It was a full session, but it's good. It's looking really tidy and neat. Yeah. The beds look uh, ready to go. We've cleared all of them. Yeah. Now it's a matter of uh, ordering some compost. We're going to order just three tons and then we'll have to uh, we'll barrow that down. <laughs> that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> but anyway, it's good to be back outside and 
you know, getting a bit of exercise, getting the ticker beating. The daffodils are all out behind us. Looking fabulous. The front, even though we did remove the rosemary, at least the alliums are coming out. Yeah. Um, so that'll give us something. We've got some nice alliums in there. We've got the, the globe. Globe masters. I don't want to say globe trotter. But <laughs> no, globe masters. The globe masters from Dutch Grown. So they're all in the front. Anyway, that's it. Time for a drink. So another gorgeous morning. I love it when it's like this yeah, blue wonderful. sky. You, know, you can see all the buds on the trees. Everything's coming back to life. It's just very springy and beautiful. And the lambs are here. They're settling in nicely on the field opposite. They're on the other side because that's where the sun is for them this morning. But we might see them a bit later yeah. this evening. Well, you saw them last night. I did. You, you filmed them last night, so that's did. nice. Today is our first mow of the season. And I always find it fun. That's always, it's kind of like you're a real milestone in the gardening uh -huh. season isn't Certainly it when is. you can get out and mow it's like okay great it's we're starting matters. yeah we're starting it's it's kicking off brilliant let's go so we're going to be mowing this lawn here which is looking really long and shaggy but it's been about yeah. six months since we've cut it so it is a it is a long time yeah it is so we need to get on and get that uh, cut and a huge thank you to this week's vlog sponsor which is greenworks thank you very much guys we love working with you and we're going to be using your gardening tools today to do the first mow of the season and not only are greenworks sponsoring this video they've sent us their latest battery operated lawnmower it's a 60 volt self-propelled lawnmower which is going to be absolutely fantastic for that lawn yeah so i'm really keen to try that out Thank you to Greenworks who are also running a really generous giveaway. Click the link below for your chance to win a lawnmower and a strimmer bundle. Well, that was a very productive afternoon. Exhausting afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mars is just about finished. <laughs> But we mowed the lawn, it's looking so much better. It looks very, very nice and tidy. So that's great. And we also managed to get the field done where we were yeah, working yesterday around up. the veg bed. And I started to clear up some of the borders just a little bit. So this bit is looking a bit tidier under there. And then I also managed to get around to the peony and the lupin bed. So that's also nice and tidy and they're sprouting as well. I'm really surprised actually. Lupin and me have a very iffy relationship, uh, but they have got to say they're looking the healthiest that they've ever looked, which is bizarre because last year I basically just left them. Um, I didn't even cut them back or anything. I left them with the stalks on and I let the flowers die on them and just left them like that. And they've obviously just mulched themselves kind of over the winter. So it's good. I'm thankful the day's over. Yeah. And as yesterday, it's time for a drink. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> and go sit in the back garden and watch the lambs. And don't forget guys, if you want a chance to enter the giveaway to win a Greenworks lawnmower and strimmer, head over to our website, myhomefarm.co.uk. And subscribe to our channel because we're going to be doing a review of the lawnmower that we actually used today. That's another beast of a lawnmower from Greenworks, so a bit of a spoiler alert there. Yeah, and it's self-propelled as well, so it's kind of, it goes. It's got its own motor. <laughs> it's a really good machine with a good battery life, so yeah. we'll be reviewing that in the course of the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Yesterday I went and got my hair cut, so I think it's kind of gone into a bit of shock. So it's sprung up into curls, and I'm just going to let it do its thing and be really chilled about it. So we're back in the painting gear, so Mars has not completely got away with painting, but it's only going to be a small little job today. We're going to just paint these fireplaces today because both the fireplaces, we've got this fireplace behind me in the dining room, which is the kitchen diner, and then we've got another fireplace 
directly on the other side so like literally back to back um, but there is a wall kind of separating them so you can't see that they're both the same color so the other one in the living room and then this one in the dining room and they're both kind of like this kind of um, muted smoky kind of aqua color we've now decided that that's probably a little bit too light because you can see every single knock every single scratch every single bit of kind of charcoal or anything that comes off the fireplace so we've decided that we want to just go a little bit darker so we've decided to go with this color above the stove with the tiles yeah and after going through a lot of swatch books we've decided to go with the livid color from little greens which is quite a complimentary shade actually uh, so we should have a nice balance with terms of color of you know, on this side of the room and on that side of the room. We decided to go the little green because A, they just had such a beautiful color palette and just a whole array of different shades, which we really, really like. And uh, also they're in Wales, which is fantastic. Yeah. So uh, it's really nice to support a Welsh brand and their family business, eco-friendly paints. They have a collab with a national trust. Yeah. So that's really nice because in their color swatch books, it actually says the period of that color paint. So if you want to, like for example, we're Victorian. So it's really nice when we can kind of use a color palette from Victorian period so that we know that we're staying within the keeping of the property. And it's really nice because a lot of their packaging is completely plastic free. Yeah. Uh, and it's all recyclable. Because they are environmentally friendly paints, the VOCs, the smell that yeah. you get off it, apparently is almost nothing oh, yeah. and it's supposed to be really nice and easy to use so it's even going to be washable for us which is great so if we do get any scratches or marks hopefully we'll be able to just wash those off we're going to give that a go and paint the two fireplaces but first we need to clear them and remove yeah. all the wood and vacuum them out so that's the job for today decided to make it a painting day but we didn't expect it to, <laughs> to hail <laughs> I hope that the lambs are gonna be appreciating it they've already disappeared up the hill to the trees So, so good I'm so pleased with it I can't tell you because a it's given us so much more definition in the fireplace I think that the hops really nicely contrast against that color and we've got these paintings on this side of the room and they're really special to us we really really love them dearly and they have got lots of different kind of aquas and blues in them and particularly him he's got the same kind of eucalyptus colors so it's just so lovely that we've got this kind of, you know. Yeah, it works. It's really lovely, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just makes it feel really cohesive. We've spoken about my aversion to painting, uh, but it really does come down. A good quality paint actually makes the experience just so much quicker and easier. Yeah. Uh, and this little green paint was it was thick. Uh, it applied really evenly. Yeah. Uh, and the final coat was just fantastic. So even though I did a second coat on that, it probably technically didn't need it. It actually does feel like it's A, going to be really washable, which is great. And it's going to take some knocks and bangs so. against the wood and stuff. So yeah, really pleased with it. That's good. So I think that was a pretty productive day given that we had rain, hail, sunshine. We still managed to get another, another job ticked off the list, which is really lovely. And another big thank you to Greenworks for sponsoring this week's video. The lawn looks fantastic. Yes. Uh, so looking forward to many more cuts uh, during the course of the summer. Yeah, it's all started now. It was so nice to get the vegetable garden reset. Yeah. So that's really lovely. And the whole front seems like it's kind of really starting to come together and look smarter again. So it's just me really, I just, it's our favorite space in the summer, isn't it? So it's really lovely to kind of start to tidy it up. So I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.